Hi everyone, Ryan here, Ion Capital Solutions. Hope you're doing well. So today I wanted to uh, bring up a topic that I think is relevant to anybody following along in this channel. And that is my story of building a loan brokerage, what my mindset was, the journey, the process. Um, I won't go too far into detail here as to how it was actually built because we'd be here all day, but definitely the high level. Um, I know that this is topical for many of you as you consider building your own business. Those of you that have tried to build your own business and, and had uh, difficult difficulty and, and, and maybe mixed results, um, anybody going back to the drawing board. Anyway, uh, a topic I know is gonna hit home with a lot of people. So with that said, let's dig in. Okay, so it all started with taking a job, okay? Um, I did not try and just build a business from scratch. I, I took a job, I worked in the industry, I started at the ground floor, dialing for dollars in a cubicle, finding some interest, doing some cold calling, right? Um, I had sales experience and background, but in a different industry, not in the financial space. And so that's the journey I took, that's the direction that I, that I went. Excuse me. And and so I know there are many people out there that are kind of not going in that traditional route, right? Instead, you're just kind of jumping to trying to start your own loan brokerage. And there's programs out there that'll lead you down that path. That's not the path that I went. And I'll I'll touch on this topic a little bit here coming up in the in the video. But with that being said, there's also the ladder. Right, And that's what I had to climb starting out in a new space. I, I was unfamiliar with the journey. I was unfamiliar with, with the, um, the language. I had yet to learn the different pieces of the business. I wasn't ready to build a business because I, I hadn't yet done it myself. And really, you know, I think this, this you know, snippet here uh, it perfectly exemplifies who we are when we start out in a new industry. We're, we're infantile, <laughs> we're children in, in that industry. We, we have yet to learn and so you've gotta start from the ground level if you wanna own a business in that space. That's the reality of the situation. And you know, surrounding yourself with experience and people who are active in the marketplace, whether it's people like yourself or it's others who are in the next level above you, the next step on the ladder, so to speak, even brushing shoulders with management, moving around in a different departments. That's what it takes and that's what I did from front end marketing to front end sales to, to managing the calling center, being a whip on the floor to the back end of being uh, in processing and underwriting and qualifying files and to managing the syndication network, the people where the money comes from, right? And, and essentially, how to invest money into loans and manage your syndicator's money. Basically, there is no Donald Duck swimming in a, po a pool of gold coins. It doesn't work like that. It's a large investor network of people syndicating funds into a multitude of deals that accounts for the small percentage of fraud to, or excuse me, default to ensure an ROI. That's how investors, when they give you your money, if one person decides to run away with the money, we all know what a default merchant is with the cash advance, right? Your investor is still going to see a return on investment because their money is successfully being paid back in several other loans along with interest, which is profit. And so therefore, their money is growing and never in a place of sitting still or losing money. That's the game and how it works. So... I didn't know how any of this stuff worked. The reality is in climbing that ladder and climbing that mountain, so to speak, I wasn't alone. I had mentors and support to help me get there because operating in the dark without understanding the landscape, it, it's, it's a very difficult thing to do. It's an uphill battle, right? Pun intended. And the reality is you don't know the landscape when you're on your own trying to build a business on your own without any idea of what that landscape looks like. And so only when you access that marketplace alongside of industry professionals and learn the front and back end of the business, do you even begin to see the light and see 
the actual, you know, gain perspective, see the landscape for what it really is. And so once I had done that, that's when I had the confidence to go off and start my own business, you know, and this idea, this dream of getting out of the nine to five and working for other people and being able to work from home or build my own business and kind of my own island, so to speak, right, whatever it is, but really to go off on my own um, was was what I was considering doing. And what that did was was lead me down this road of building a business, right? And so there's the drawing board. First, it started with me and what I wanted to do, right? My mindset and where I wanted to go with it. And of course, and realizing that, you know, I don't know how, how to do that. I've never built a, a business in this space before or something like it. I need to, to learn how this works. Well, that's when I started considering what do I want to actually do? Do I want to go the brick and mortar space and build an office and take out a loan and hire a consultant to help me do that? Do I want to build this on, a business online and cut out the cost of brick and mortar? And how do I go about doing that? I need to hire a consultant to help me do that, right? And so I went down the, the rabbit hole of business in a box. First, I tried on my own network in my own general area and started talking to friends and family. And then I started looking online and finding programs. And that's really when when uh, some red flags started going up, uh, when some ideas really started started to uh, uh, populate. And, and um, you can see the experience and the look on my face just as I think about all that I learned in this part of the journey. I mean, it was clear to me that there are so many people online that are trying to build a business, but there's also so many people online that are trying to offer solutions to people who are trying to build a business. And in considering building my business and seeing what was out there, I realized that the vast majority of programs weren't teaching people about that business. That in fact, many of these people, in my opinion, from my own perspective, may not have ever actually worked in the industry. And what they were doing was teaching people pretty much the same thing across the board, whether it was drop shipping or an Amazon store or, you know, whatever. <laughs> it was these coaching programs telling people that, hey, anyone can own a business, just set up a website, buy some leads, run an ad, do some cold calling, find some interested parties, sign up with a vendor, be the middleman and forward their information to the vendor, hope to collect a, collect a commission. Congratulations, you're a business owner. And to me, you know, I, I found that silly, you know, and I came from the business loan brokering space. So this idea that somebody who never worked in the space could just create a website, sign up with the lender as an ISO, run an ad or buy some leads, cold call, get some interested parties, just play a numbers game of submitting a large volume of people in the hopes that one would fund a deal was just ridiculous to me. I just, I, I might as well go to Vegas with a bag of quarters, put it in the slot machine, pull the slot and hope my winning numbers come up. I might as well go to the store and buy a bunch of lottery tickets, call them applications for funding, right? And uh, uh, do this, my scratch offs, you know, fill out my winning numbers and hope that I get lucky. I mean, that's not a business model. And yet people are buying this as a complete business in a box. It was shocking to me. And so I definitely don't, didn't go down that rabbit hole. I thought, I don't need you to teach me to build a website. I'll just go to Wix or Squarespace.com or WordPress or whatever it is. You know, I can do that on my own. And I don't need you to tell me to sign up with the vendor either. I know all the lenders out there because I've worked with them. So I'll just call them up or go on their website and sign up as an ISO. What do I need someone else to tell me that? And when it comes to the various products in the marketplace, whether it be real estate investment funding products or business funding products, secured, unsecured, high risk, low risk, high you know rates, low rates, whatever, the payment frequency is daily to monthly, that's all at my fingertips. I can do all of that. That's not a problem. And as far as buying leads, well, I've been down that rabbit hole. Anything from buying, you know, pop crumb leads, age data, anywhere from two years old to as, 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 you know, as recent as 30 days old. I did the, 
buying book, uh, books of businesses, uh, excuse me, books of business from other loan brokerages that have shut down and sold their data to live transfer leads where people from other countries will call someone a hundred times, get them on the phone, transfer it over to me. And then I connect with an angry person who's not qualified and they'll try and charge me 20 or $40 for the live transfer lead. I mean, I've done it all. I've done the Facebook advertising and YouTube, and I used to sell advertising. So we went, I went down the road of rat and rabbit hole of Google ads and, and, uh, posting and audience building. And, oh man, that is what's out there in these business in a box programs. And it was wild to me because I knew just how loaded that box was. And it wasn't with useful information, but really it was a rabbit hole, right? It was, it was a, a bomb waiting to go off. It was people being sold a dream and the reality is you're going to end up with a, a a money lost in a startup of trial and error that frankly leads to nowhere because the individual trying to build this business had no experience in that space. And so <laughs> that's when I realized this isn't working at all. It's not going to work. Um, I should warn others not to put their cart before the horse because that's what it is to build a business without experience is to put a cart before the horse. Do you want to spend your limited time and money on trial and error of trying to build a business while trying to run that business and bring in money? I mean, how long is that going to last before you go belly up? It's just not realistic. And I know that from experience what that trial and error is like. And I, and I have industry experience. I had a background in that. And still, it was an uphill battle before I had built my business successfully and had a successful loan brokerage. And so that's the reality of the situation. But anyway, back to the point in my journey, some light bulbs really started to go off, you know, and when I, when I realized these things and I thought, okay, I have an idea. And that idea is, what if there was a place for people to be able to grow and really learn the business? Not a quote-unquote training program, aka a blueprint, right, where I'm going to give people a business in a box, a map to buried treasure, but actually a place where people could grow like I did and learn. Not a job, right, but a, a true education platform. What if while those people were reaching right? In that growth for the sun, so to speak. In other words, money, they could actually earn money while they learned, right? And so in my mind, I'm like, well, it checks the box of having a business loan brokerage and not being an independent broker. Sure, I did the independent broker thing for a while, but I wanted to be a business owner. I didn't just want to be an independent broker, right? And having a training program where people could actually learn this business, well, that could work as well. And if it was a place where everyone makes money by all functioning out of the same business, well, then everybody wins. It's an actual successful loan brokerage. It's a place for people to learn the business and to earn money while they learn. It checks all the boxes. It makes sense. And so that's really where ION was born, right? The marriage of a traditional brokerage, but online, along with a education program, a training program. But unlike my competitors that are essentially, well, competitors in the training space, right, where they're trying to teach people to build their own business and here's the, the pieces of making it work without actually teaching the business itself or walking through their clients the business as they build their business to help them make their business a successful business, I wanted to help people and hold their hand throughout the journey so that they could learn and accrue knowledge over time and, and, and gain experience like I did when I worked in this space, but in an expedited way where they don't have to compete with one another, you know, and have to climb that ladder, but instead be able to simply navigate the whole of the business and all the different departments without having to deal with that part of it, right? Because we all know it's dog eat dog out there. It's hard. It's competitive. Just because you want to learn a business doesn't mean you'll get the promotions to actually move throughout the business and learn all ends of the business. That in itself is a challenge, right? So that's what 
I did here, you know, and why not have students work with mentors on deals and have support and train, but also work on deals live and accrue that knowledge and earn money. It just makes sense, you know, and there's bells and whistles around the program. And you can see my other videos as you follow along on our YouTube channel, and you can see testimonials of what the journey has been like for our students. But that's not the topic of today. The topic of today is building my loan brokerage, right? The process, the journey, why I did it. As for how it's built, well, that's a video for another day, right? As for the platforms I use, the software I use, um, the methodology there, the companies that I partner with, that's a video for another day. In fact, yesterday's videos, uh, I talked about virtual assistants. So if you haven't checked that video up, you're gonna see it come up here in just a minute. I highly recommend you check out that video. But with that said, that's gonna do it for this topic. Thanks so much again for all of you who have subscribed and following along. Please like the video. Anybody who hasn't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. It greatly helps the channel. Anyway, uh, take a look at the information in the description. There's our Facebook group you can join. There's our website, ioncapitalsolutions.com. And of course, you can book a call to learn more. So with that said, thank you so much, everybody. Best of luck with your loan brokering journey. Best of luck with your deals. I'll catch you in the next video.